Okay, so I've seen a couple people asking how to get dark mode in FUBAR, so I figured I'd make a quick tutorial on how to do it. This is currently what my FUBAR looks like in dark mode, and this is how it looked previously. So there are two ways to do it. The first way to do it is going to be using Columns UI. And so if you go to this URL, or I'll have it linked below, you're going to want to download the 2.0 version. And once you have that downloaded, you'll go to FUBAR, you'll go to File, Preferences, under the Components tab, you're going to go to Install, select your component, hit OK, hit OK again. And then this is going to pop up asking you which UI you want to use, and you're going to want to use Columns UI. And if you have a custom layout previously, it's going to essentially reset it, and you'll have to remake it in Columns UI, which can be a bit confusing. But from here, you'll go File, Preferences, Column UI, Colors and Fonts, and then choose Dark Mode. And there you've got custom uh, dark mode. Um, personally, I don't like using columns UI though, uh, especially since I already like the layout I have in the default mode. So what I'm going to do is uninstall this real quick, which will send it back to the previous mode. And I'll show you how to install it on this one, which will be involving installing custom Windows themes. So you're going to need two things. Uh, you're going to need secure UX theme from here themetool.exe, and you're going to need a custom theme. And the best way to do that is you're going to have to hit Windows R and then do Winver, W-I-N-V-E-R. And this will tell you your Windows version right here. You can see my version is 2.1H2. And using either Google or DeviantR, you can browse uh, for themes that fit your build number. And I know KakeOS works for 2.1H2, and that's the one I'm gonna be using today. So we've got a download button right here. And once that happens, you're going to need to put the theme into the Windows folder, which would be Windows, Resources, Themes, and then we've got the KakeOS folder. And if you don't know what you're doing, you can just drag all of these in. Uh, do this for all current items, continue. And then what you'll have to do is you'll have to run Theme Tool as an administrator. And from here, you'll have to hit install right here, which will reboot your computer. All right, once your computer has finished uh, restarting, you will reopen theme tool as admin. And personally, I would check these boxes just because I don't want it to change any of these things. I just want it to change the theme, essentially. Uh, the theme I'm going to use is Dark Alt. And so if you just select the one you want, you can try a bunch of different ones, too. Uh, just hit Patch and Apply. And you wait a couple seconds. And you now have a custom dark mode. And it's pretty simple. The only downside is it will change a bunch of smaller things. Like you can see my start button is different now. And the buttons up here are all different. Uh, if you're feeling extra savvy, what you can do is download MS Style Editor. And you can like manually edit the parts of the themes. So if you find the theme you like, but there's like some things you're not too happy with, you can go in here and edit this. So it's a bit confusing, especially if you don't know what you're doing, but you can find the items you'd like and essentially change them. So I know like the task bar, it's like task pearl or something like that, task bar pearl. And you see pearl icon, and then you've got all these different uh, sizes. And so you can theoretically change all of these to different images. Um, to better suit it. Like if you look at mine, I've got a pink four squares and a pink buttons up at the top and a pink sliders instead of black sliders, I think, for the default, or white sliders, blue sliders. Yeah. Uh, that part's a little bit more complicated, a little bit more in depth. Uh, if you're tech savvy, I feel like you can do it yourself pretty easily. Uh, well, maybe not easily, but you can fine tune it to better suit your taste, essentially. So yeah. That was my quick video. If you guys want a video on how to use MS Style Editor a little bit more in depth, you can let me know and I'll 
Do you got to do that? 